Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Dennis Rodman just sent Trump a bold message. Has something he needs everyone to know. Amid speculation that former NBA basketball player Dennis Rodman would be present in Singapore on June 12 for the much-anticipated summit between President Donald Trump and North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un, the proud so-called resistance was, ahem, triggered, if you will. Stemming from a report in the NY Post, the left had a mini meltdown over the possibility of Rodman's potential inclusion in the summit. Except the report from the NY Post was wrong as Rodman's agent, Darren Prince, publicly disputed the validity of the report stating no plans or flights have been made yet. White House Deputy Press Secretary Hohn Gidley issued a statement backing up the reports from Rodman's agent, stating he rejected the idea of Rodman joining Trump and Kim for Danuk talks. Gidley stated on Fox News when asked about Rodman's presence at the summit, I don't know what part the best rebounder in basketball has to play in that. He is great on the court but negotiations should best be left to those who are good at it, Trump is the best. News of the false report in the NY Post did not stop leftist comedian Chelsea Handler from throwing her own personal Twitter tirade on the topic, however. Handler tweeted to her millions of followers that Dennis Rodman will be in Singapore during the Trump-Kim summit. Just like Obama, a black man will do all the work and Trump will try and take credit for it. Hey, at Dennis Rodman take an E and see what happens. However, Rodman himself was quick to tweet his support of the summit and of President Trump, however stating he wished the president much success at the Singapore summit. Rodman stated via Twitter, To all Americans and the rest of the world I'm honored to call it POTUS a friend. He's one of the best negotiators of all time and I'm looking forward to him adding to his historic success at the Singapore summit. According to Thiel.com- President Trump said Thursday that NBA Hall of Famer Dennis Rodman was not invited to attend his upcoming summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. I like him. He's a nice guy. No. He was not invited, Trump told reporters during a meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Trump added that he did not know about Rodman's intention to be in Singapore during the upcoming summit with Kim. Rodman, who has developed a friendship with Kim and has made multiple visits to North Korea, reportedly plans to visit Singapore while the summit is taking place. Rodman also previously appeared as a contestant on Trump's reality television show Celebrity Apprentice. Trump is slated to meet with Kim next Tuesday at a luxury hotel in Singapore. The meeting will convene at 9 a.m. local time, which is 9 p.m. EDT. Trump told reporters Thursday he does not have to prepare very much for his high-stakes summit with Kim because he believes it's about attitude. I think I'm very well prepared, Trump said. I don't think I have to prepare very much. It's about attitude. It's about willingness to get things done. The U.S. is pushing for North Korea to fully abandon its nuclear program. Meanwhile, President Trump says definitely when asked if he was preparing for the meeting in North Korea, I've been preparing for this all my life. Meanwhile, Rodman has also publicly announced that while he may not be a part of the summit, he will be traveling to Singapore itself for the upcoming U.S.-North Korea summit in an effort to show his support. After all, he is one of the few people in the world who has met both President Trump and the North Korean dictator. Prince confirmed this report to CNN stating, he is willing to offer his support for his friends, President Trump and Marshal Kim Jong-un. Rodman then took to Instagram to make the announcement of his impending arrival in Singapore ahead of the upcoming summit. He posted, Thanks to my loyal sponsors from at Potcoin and my team at at Prince Marketing Group, I will be flying to Singapore for the historical summit. I'll give whatever support is needed to my friends, President Trump and Marshal Kim Jong-un. Hashtag Basketball Diplomacy Rodman has traveled to North Korea on numerous occasions in the past and seems to have struck up an unlikely friendship with the North Korean dictator. Kim is said to be a huge fan of the 1990s Chicago Bulls, a team of which Rodman was a part of. Rodman is known for winning five NBA championships, 1988-1989, 1989-1990 with Detroit Pistons, 1995-1996, 1996-1997, 1997-1998, 1997 with Chicago Bulls. Rodman was also the first man and first athlete to pose nude for a people for the ethical treatment of animals, PETA, advertisement in 2005. Rodman was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2011 and began his unlikely friendship with Kim Jong-un in 2013 during a Harlem Globetrotters exhibition game. He traveled to back to North Korea in December 2013 to help train a team of North Korean basketball players for a January exhibition game against former NBA players to celebrate Kim's birthday.
Rodman has mentioned that he hopes to be able to be part of something pretty positive with regards to U.S.-North Korean relations. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.